Uh, problem 120, chapter 5. Uh, this one is a quite interesting problem. And also, it's very complete. You need to do a lot of things here. So, it deserves to spend, I would say, at least half an hour for this one before seeing my solution. So, here we have this four ball linkage um, one through three, and the fourth link is ground always when we. Um, uh, you have a four ball linkage, it has actually three link and the fourth linkage is, is ground. So in this four ball linkage, um, uh, the problem says link AB is rotating with the angle of velocity of 40 radian per second at the moment. And at this moment, link OA is in the horizontal direction, link CBD is in the vertical direction, just at this moment. A moment later, they're gonna move, they're gonna rotate, and they're gonna have different condition. And the question is, um, what is the angular acceleration of this link, and what is the acceleration of point D? Okay, so to find angular accelerations, we need to find the acceler angular acceleration of OA, and also to find uh, the acceleration of point D, we need to know what is the angular acceleration of this link, and also the angle of velocity of it, okay? So, um, after thinking about it, come back to this video and see the rest of it. Okay, um, um, like the previous problems, if you want to analyze accelerations, we need to analyze the velocities first. We are going to need to know what is the angle of velocity of this link, if I call it omega OA, and also what is angle of velocity of this one, let's call it omega um, um, CD. Okay. And then after that, we need to find alpha of this one. Let's call it alpha OA, and also same thing for this one, alpha CD. So how we can find the omega of any of those links? So if you think carefully, you probably come up with this idea. If I know the velocity of A, then I can divide the velocity of A to the length of this link to find omega of OA. Why? Because if this link is rotating with angular velocity of omega OA, then the velocity of A is going to be equal to R times omega, 0.1 meter times omega, right? So I need to know what is the velocity of A. And same thing for the other link. If I know velocity of B, uh, then I can divide it to CB to this length to find the angle of velocity of this link. Why? Again, same thing. Look at B. B is a point on this link. B is rotating, is moving on a circle with the center of C, right? So the velocity of this point is going to be R, which is BC here. 0.15 meter times omega of this link. So velocity of B is going to be in this direction and also um, also it's going to be uh, 150 millimeters times omega of this link. So, um, so the objective now is finding the velocity of point A and also velocity of point B. How can I do that? You have different ways to do it. But probably the simplest one is um, using or looking at this link and finding um, the instantaneous center of rotation of this link. Uh, from there, we can find velocity of A and also velocity of B. How? Um, you can do it this way. So if you want to find the center of rotation or center of instantaneous zero velocity, whatever you want to call it, uh, you need to know um, the direction of the velocity of two points of that 
body, right? Here we know. Look at link AB. We know A is gonna move in the horizontal direction at this moment, right? And also for B, we know the velocity of it is gonna be in this direction at this moment. So if I draw perpendicular lines to these two velocities, same thing for this one, draw a perpendicular line to the velocity of B, they're gonna cross each other at point C. So at this moment, and only at this moment, C is the instantaneous center. Instantaneous center for AB, which means everything of link AB, all of this rigid body at this moment is rotating about point C. And if you remember the properties of the instantaneous center, if you know the angular velocity of that rigid body, which we have it here in this problem, we can multiply the angular velocity to the distance of any point from the center to find the velocity of it, right? So velocity of A, with this, with this reasoning, velocity of A is gonna be equal to the distance from here to here, 0.2 meter times omega. So C A times omega of A B or 0.2 meter times omega which is 40 or 8 meter per second. So we found the velocity of A. And same thing for B. Velocity of B is equal to the distance of it from the center of rotation, instantaneous center or B C times omega of this rigid body, which is AB. So it's gonna be equal to 0.15 times 40 radians per second, so six meters per second. So why, uh, why did we find um, uh, the velocity of A and B? Because, um, now look at this link. Base, uh, because A is on this link as well, the velocity of it is going to be omega of this link times 0.1 meter, right? From there, I can, I can find omega of this link. So let's write it down. Velocity of A is equal to OA times omega of OA. So omega OA from here is going to be equal to velocity of A, which is 8, divided by OA, which is 0.1. So it's going to be 80 radian per second. That's omega of this link. Uh, same thing for um, CD, right? Velocity of B is equal to CB times omega of this link, which we called it CD, omega CD. And from here, omega CD will be velocity of B, which is 6, divided by CB, which is 0.15. And this omega is going to be um, 40 radian per second. So we found angular velocity of this link and also angular velocity of the other link. Okay. Now accelerations. I need uh, to find alpha of this link and also alpha of the other one. How we can do this? We cannot use instantaneous center. That's not gonna work for acceleration. Instantaneous center is just for uh, velocity analysis. We cannot use it for acceleration. But how can I find um, acceleration of these two links? If you think carefully and try different ways, you are going to come up with this idea. I know acceleration of A uh, depends to alpha of this link, right? Because A is moving on the circle about point O. Acceleration of it is going to have two parts. The tangential part of it is going to be R times alpha of OA and the normal par part of it is going to be R times omega squared which we have it and same thing for B acceleration of B um, is going to be 
uh, dependent to alpha of this link, which is unknown, and also omega of this link, which we know it. Again, B is moving on a circle about point C at this moment, actually every, all the time, right? So acceleration of B, uh, the tangential part of it is gonna be CB times alpha of this link, alpha CD. And the normal part of acceleration is gonna be R times omega squared, which we have it. Now, uh, but both of these alphas are unknown. I need two equations to find them, right? If I relate these two accelerations together by uh, writing the relative acceleration equation between A and B, I'm going to be able to connect these two unknowns together, and that's going to give me two equations with these two unknowns. Right? So let's write it down. Acceleration of, um, for example, A is equal to um, sorry. acceleration of A is equal to acceleration of B um, plus alpha of A and B, the, both of them are on this link, right? So when I'm writing the relative acceleration equation between them, I need to use alpha of this link, alpha AB, which is equal to zero because omega is constant based on what the problem is saying. So alpha AB cross product to BA and minus omega of this link squared times BA right this is the equation this is the relative acceleration equation between two points of on a rigid body so uh, we know this part is zero because alpha of this link is zero that's what the problem is saying Acceleration of A, B, and also this part, we need to write all of them in a vector form, right? So let's just start with acceleration of A. Again, as I explained it before, just a few minutes uh, before, uh, acceleration of A has two components, tangential and normal, because A is moving on a circle about point O. Uh, the tangential part of the acceleration is going to be OA times alpha of this link, OA, and it's going to be in the vertical direction, in the j direction. So acceleration of A, the first part of it is OA times alpha of this link in the j direction. This is the tangential part of acceleration of A. The normal part of it is R omega squared, right? So it's going to be toward O. This is the normal direction. And uh, this direction means negative j. In our coordinate so negative OA times angular velocity of, of this link squared in the I direction this is acceleration of A together is equal to we have a very similar thing for B if you look at point P again, it is moving on a circle about point C. So acceleration of it is gonna have two components, tangential and normal. The tangential part is gonna be CB times um, alpha of this link, alpha CD, and it is in the tangential direction, which means negative I. So I'm gonna have negative I here. The normal part of it is gonna be R omega squared. Or CB omega squared and it's going to be downward so negative J omega of CD squared in the J direction so all of these together is acceleration of B minus omega AB squared times BA so minus omega AB which we have it times BA so we need to write this vector um, uh, this vector in terms of i and j which is quite simple ba is 0.2 in i direction and also 0.15 in negative j direction okay now look at this equation this is a vector equation um, so it means it is two equations in general because you can separate i and j terms and how many unknowns do we have here? Alpha of OA 
and also alpha CD, right? So it's quite simple. It's, you just need to separate I and J terms. Then you are gonna have two equations, two unknowns. So for I, we have this part. OA is 0.1 times omega OA and omega OA, we found it here, so times AD squared is equal to this part, negative CB, um, I forgot the negative here, negative CB, uh, so negative 0.15, times alpha of CD, which is unknown. Then we have this part as well, negative uh, 0.2 times omega AB, which is 4D squared. So here, the only unknown is alpha CD, so you can find it, right? So from here, alpha CD, uh, should be equal to, if I find it in my notes, um, find it later. I have a hard time reading my notes. <laughs> uh, let's actually write down the J parts. OA times alpha OA, OA is 0.1 times alpha OA. This is what we have in the left side of the equation. And in the right side of the equation for J, we have this part, negative CB, so negative 0.15 times omega CD squared and omega CD is 4D, so times 4D squared. Then uh, we have this part as well, so plus 0.15 times omega AB squared, which is 4D squared. And these two are gonna cancel out each other so this is gonna be equal to zero. And interestingly, alpha of OA should be equal to zero. So from here, um, I can't find it in my notes. Let's calculate it quickly. So here, alpha, CD, um, if I take this to the other side of the equation, alpha CD <coughs> um, is gonna be equal to 0 0.1, um, 0 0.1 times AD squared minus 0 0.2 times 4D squared Um, divided by 0.15 alpha CD is gonna be um, 21 33 radian per second square which is a very big uh, number let me check it again so it is 0.1 times AD squared minus 0.2 times 4d squared divided by 0.15 yeah that should be the one so after finding alpha of this link and also we know what is the omega of it so the, re uh, the rest of it which is finding acceleration of d is going to be quite simple uh, let's look at this um, mechanism again look at point d we are trying to find the acceleration of it point d is moving on a circle about point c right because d is a, is on this link so it's going to rotate about point c and because of that acceleration has two components acceleration in the tangential direction and also acceleration in the normal direction right 
Acceleration in the tangential direction is r times alpha, which we just found it. Acceleration in the normal direction is r times omega squared, which we found the omega field in the previous part. Right? So acceleration of d is going to be equal to uh, the alpha times r is going to be in the negative or the tangential part of the acceleration is going to be in the negative i direction so negative um, r of that point is 150 plus 75 millimeters so point um, two to five times alpha which is 221.33 in the i direction and also uh, the normal part of the acceleration is uh, r omega squared, r omega squared in this direction, which is negative j direction. So I'm going to have 